Hi there. I'm uh, Detective Philip Thomas, Private Eye. I've seen a lot of crazy capers in my day, but uh, a case involving a baby eating mother is probably the craziest I've ever seen. This story has been kept under wraps until now, but with the help of a folks musician and a revived coyote skull, the details are now available. Hey kids, I am the skull of the coyote of Dr. John A. McMahon, and I have a strange, bizarre, and horrific story to tell. Did you ever hear about the lady who put her baby in the microwave? Well, this is the story about a baby-eating mother. Her name was Patty. Life began like this for her every day. She'd wake up, get the coffee ready, wash the dishes, and start another day. But this day was different. She was expecting company that night. A Dick Sidhu, a local employee who spent his time slicing meat in a gig at the local market. After chatting with him for months on end, he'd finally asked to come over to her place. The biggest problem in her mind was what to fix for dinner. She was all out of leftovers. Hello, Dick. Good evening, Patty. How are you? I'm just fine. How 
was work today, Dick? It wasn't too bad. It was work. I had a guy giving me a hard time. A couple crazy customers. That's nice. Yeah, I had one guy even go so far as to complain to my manager that my service was unsatisfactory. Crazy stuff. Hmm. Would you like some soup and sandwiches? That sounds great. I love soup and sandwiches. That was some pretty good soup. And I've never had a sandwich quite like that. What's your secret? It's a recipe from a friend of mine. I'm glad you like it. So, whatever happened to that friend at work? Well, I, I really wouldn't call him a friend. <laughs> he, uh, after he complained to my manager, I ended up having to cut him a lot of ham. Free ham. And did I mention a lot of it? Anyway, so, uh, what do you think about service departments? I took my car in for an oil change today on my lunch break, and I ended up with a tire rotation and some antifreeze. Get you every time. Every time. Well, um, you look kind of tired. Would you like to spend the night? Oh, that would, uh, that would be a pleasure. Okay. Thanks. Nine months later. She never saw him after that night. She even stayed away from the market he works at. Just so he never see her again. Just so he would never know.